Glory to Jesus Christ. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Hello, brothers. Hello, sisters in Christ. I hope that you all are well in the Lord. I hope that you all have had a fantastic weekend so far. I hope that you all are enjoying the Bible Reading With Me series as I am enjoying reading the word with you. I thank you all for coming to hear what the Lord is saying in this moment in time. So I am not going to be on here long, people of God. I'm only going to be on here long enough to release what I would say another powerful prophetic word that God gave me from the book of Job. And I'm smiling because I'm noticing that as we're reading the Bible on Saturdays, the Lord has really been using those times to minister to me as well. They're not Bible studies, but after I finish recording and reading with you guys, I often go back and look at what we read and I'm noticing that the Lord will use what we read and he'll minister to my spirit. And sometimes what he speaks to me about will lead into a prophetic word. And so we're only in chapters one, two, and three. This word is coming from chapter 42 only because I've already read the story and what the Lord wants me to portray is familiar to me. And he's saying that this is the appointed time to release this specific word. Okay. You know my stance. Don't come to me. Go to God. I'm just a messenger. It is your responsibility to test the spirit behind this message. And I also have a video in the description box that will give you some tips on how to approach God concerning this message. So God began to reveal to me that there are some of you that have had to deal with someone slandering your name. Um, some of you are dealing with or have had to deal with someone gossiping about you behind your back or someone that is trying to destroy, literally destroy your character with lies. I mean, just lies that they have made up, lies that they've heard from somewhere else, right? There are people that are trying to exploit your financial situation for some of you. There are people that are trying to exploit your health issues for some of you. There are people that are trying to exploit your family problems with your parents or your kids, and that's being exploited by other people. And the intentions of it all is to make you look bad. And these people, somehow or another, the Lord showed me, feel as though they know your situation better than you do. They think that they know why you're going through what you're going through, right? They think that there is something that you did to cause what is happening in your life, right? And the way they justify speaking about your personal circumstances, even though they don't know what your personal circumstances really are, is by telling people that there is something that you did wrong, right? That you are the reason why this situation is happening. Now, God is not saying that there are not circumstances that happen in your life where you are not the direct cause of it. God is speaking about the circumstance and the situation that has recently transpired, or it could be an ongoing issue from a few years ago that had nothing to do with you. It was out of your control. It happened without warning in your life. But people of God, the Lord says he wants you to listen and get your Bibles because we're going to go to the book of Job chapter 42. And while you are getting your Bibles, the Lord says that this way of thinking is wrong and it could not be further from the truth. God is saying, I want you to remember my son Job when like many of you, I allowed for him to endure sufferings. Job had to endure pain and trials at the hand of Satan and at the words of the people that were around him. Job's friends lied and accused me, the Lord your God, of cursing my own son. And they also accused Job of sinning against me, says the Lord. And as a result of my son Job's friends, not speaking the truth about me to him. This is what I said to them, says the Lord. Open your Bibles to chapter 42, verses seven. Let's read it, people of God. And it was so that after the Lord had spoken these words unto Job, the Lord said to Eliphaz, the Tamanite, my wrath is kindled against thee and against thy two friends, for ye have not spoken of me the thing that is right as my servant Job hath. Based on these verses, people of God, the Lord says to listen carefully and to hear the word of the Lord. And God says to keep in the front of your mind 
the verse that we just read. God says, I understand that many of you have experienced similar situations as my son Job, where people made false accusations concerning you. They passed judgments and condemn you. They slandered your name and they spoke of me, the Lord, your God falsely as it related to my relationship with you. Therefore, just like my son, Job, and because you belong to me, I, the Lord, your God have made a serious requirement of your enemies. God says to repeat that again. Hallelujah. The Lord says, I understand beloved that many of you have experienced similar situations as my son, Job, where people have made false accusations concerning you. They have passed judgments. They have condemned you. They have slandered you and they have even spoken ill will of me, the Lord, your God, as it relates to my relationship with you. Therefore, just like my son, Job, and because you beloved belong to me, I, the Lord, your God have made a serious requirement of your enemies. God says, listen, as my word says in Job chapter 42 verses eight through 10, get your Bibles and let's read it. It says, therefore take unto you now seven bullocks and seven rams and go to my servant Job and offer up for yourselves a burnt offering. And my servant Job shall pray for you for him. Will I accept lest I deal with you after your folly and that ye have not spoken of me, the thing which is right, like my servant Job. So Eliphaz, the Temanite, and Bildad, the Shuhite, and Zophar, the Namathite, went and did according to as the Lord commanded them, the Lord also accepted Job. And the Lord turned the captivity of Job when he prayed for his friends. Also, the Lord gave Job twice as much as he had before. Praise God. What does this mean for you? Says the Lord. What does this mean for you? My beloved says the Lord. It means that my restoration and vindication will come from the injustices, the slander and lies made by your enemies. And it is your enemies that I, the Lord, your God will cause to make your name great, says the Lord. Again, God says my restoration and vindication will come from the injustices, will come from the slander, will come from the lies that were made by your enemies and it will be your enemies that I will cause to make your name great, says the Lord. God says, so my beloved children, no longer do I want you to see your enemies as winners. No longer do I want you to see your enemies as getting away. No longer do I want you to think that I am not watching what is happening, but know that I will deal with all opposers of my beloved children and I will use them to make your name great, says the Lord. I gave my son Job twice as much as he had before. But for some of you, you will receive sevenfold of what the devil stole from you. Some of you will be elevated in the same territories of your enemies. Some of you will see your enemy completely delivered and restored and they will make recompense with you. And some of you will be wealthy in those areas that your enemies tried to destroy in those areas where the enemy tried to curse says the living God. It's been made official. Not only am I elevating your position, but I will use every spoken word against you to make your name great. Listen, it's been made official. Hear the word of the Lord that not only am I elevating your position, but I will use every word spoken against you falsely to make your name great says the living God. Hallelujah. So that is the word from the Lord. We just give God all glory, honor, and praise for what he is doing in our lives and what he is about to do. We are so wonderfully grateful that we have a God 
that is merciful, that extends his grace and loves us so much so that he sees it necessary to deal with those who come against his beloved children. People of God, let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, dear Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Father, we thank you so much for this word of insight, this prophetic word. We thank you, Lord, that you do not turn a blind eye to those things that happen in our lives. We thank you, Lord, that you are just as concerned about our affairs, our hearts, our minds, and our emotions, just as we are. Father, we thank you that you are a sovereign God and you are a just God and that you will deal with our enemies according to your will and your glory. Father, we thank you that you love us more than we love our own selves. We thank you, Lord, that you have decided to walk with us and talk with us. Father, we thank you that you'll never leave us nor forsake us. We thank you, Lord, that we are protected under the shelter of your wings. Father God, we thank you for the provision that you provide for us and our families. We thank you for the compassion that you give us for our enemies. The Bible says to pray for those who curse you, to bless those who come against you. And so, Father, we continue to decree and declare salvation, repentance, for our enemies to see the error in their ways and to be delivered and to be restored unto you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, we give you all glory. We give you honor and we give you praise in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We pray amen and amen. Remember, we are here on purpose to glorify God in Jesus' holy name. I thank you all for coming. Praise God. If it's the Lord's will and he has a word for me, I will be back here next Monday with a word from the Lord. I love you guys. Be blessed. Okay. Bye.